Hello, welcome to the Center of Math's Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. Um, in this problem, we're given a cylinder T, and the cylinder uh, is a, it's a right circular cylinder with a top and a bottom centered around the z-axis between z equals 7 and z equals negative 7 with a radius of 5. And we're being asked to find the flux of the force uh, F, um, a function of x, y, and z, where uh, the x component is negative y, the y component is x, and the z component is z. And that's going to be through uh, the flux of that force through t using the outward pointing almost orientation for t. Um, so to start off, we should go ahead and write um, you know, the formula we're going to use to find flux. So we have to integrate. So we're going to have to integrate over the region t, the cylinder, and we're going to integrate the, uh, the divergence of the, uh, of the force. So let's go ahead and, uh, and mark our region of integration. Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and find the, di the divergence. So, so the divergence of this, um, since z is the um, only component that's, it has a uh, function of itself, the divergence is going to equal 1. It's going to equal 1. And then the, so since this, we're working with a cylinder, we can go ahead and write this as cylindrical coordinates. So in cylindrical coordinates, the divergence 1 times r times r dz dr d theta. And if we look at the graph over here, we can find our region of integration. So for d theta, uh, we've got this radius of 5, and it's going to go all the way around for a uh, cylinder. So it's from zero, 0 radians to 2 pi radians, a full circle. And dr, the radius, is 5. So it's going to go from the center out to 5. So from 0 to 5. And then the inside, dz. Um, so the lower bound is negative 7. The upper bound is 7. So from negative 7 to 7. And 1 times r is just equal to r. So I'll just put in r. So here's our region. So r dz dr d theta. So let's go ahead and do the first integration. So when we do our first inside integration, we're going to end up with a second uh, double integral. So from 0 to 2 pi, just like before, and from 0 to 5 of 14r dr d theta. And then we're going to keep going. So now we've got our last, our last step from 0 to 2 pi of 175 uh, d theta. And that's going to be really easy because this bottom part is 0. So you just have to multiply this by 2 pi. So we get a final answer of 350 pi uh, newton meters squared. So thank you for joining us. Um, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and you check out our blog at uh, centerofmath.org. Thank you.